Hey, welcome to episode 70 of Credit 101. In this episode, we're going to talk about how you can actually lower some of your fees with your credit card. So sometimes people may have like credit card protection. So that's one thing we're going to want to get rid of if you have credit card protection or any used credit monitoring too. I know I tell people like when you repair the credit, you want to have a monitoring, but once you get your credit fixed, it's ways to get around that. So we want to talk about that in this episode. So the first thing I want you guys to do is I want you guys to cancel your credit card protection. This is a shorter episode, so I am going to personally talk about my experience, talk about what I've seen within the whole episode instead of waiting to the end. So with the credit card protection, sometimes you guys probably have credit card protection. Like I know Credit One offer this or some of those other companies. I think Synchrony Bank offer it where they'll say, hey, we'll take a certain amount Um with your bills, you'll pay a certain amount. That way, if you ever was getting a bind or anything like that, you'll be protected. I just think that don't spend anything that you cannot afford to pay back and you won't have to pay for this extra protection. A lot of times people pay a lot of money for this extra protection and it's not worth it. I think it's just a way that these credit card companies make a lot more money. And I want you guys to look at that and be like, no, nah, that's OK. What you could do on your own is when you pay your credit card bill, you can have a savings account that you drop five dollars in, drop ten dollars in. That way, if you ever get in a bind, you have money right there that can at least cover your minimum payment. You know, I just think about things like that, like five dollars or ten dollars a month can be something so simple that you can put to the side for emergencies. And then if you guys don't spend what you can't pay back, you'll be good, okay? Like, just don't get that protection because you're paying way more money for no reason. And I would hate for you to say, I got this problem. And they say, oh, no, that is not that is not covered under your protection. Under this protection plan, yeah, that's not going to be good. So please cancel that. And you guys may have, like, unused credit monitoring. Please cancel the unused credit monitoring. A lot of people will have it, like cancel it. If you have it still open, please cancel it. The only time I think people should really have credit monitoring is like if you guys were to be repairing your credit actively. When you're done repairing your credit, you literally can use Experian app to get your Experian credit report and use um. You get your Equifax report from Equifax.com. That can be free. They'll give you your credit score once a month, too, and TransUnion, too. And use Credit Karma. It's free. And that way you can see what accounts are coming on, what accounts are coming off. You can see exactly what's going on. But this is after you already repaired your credit. So you're not just always being so into, like, what exactly is on your credit report. You just need to know the basics. Like, what is my credit score looking like right now? About do I have any new accounts? Any accounts come off? What's my utilization? Those are the different things that I think that you guys need. So if you guys are not repairing your credit, sometimes people just keep that stuff on autoplay. Please get rid of it, honestly. That's what I would suggest. Now, we're going to go to episode 70, where we're going to talk about getting free tax preparation. So if you guys need to repair your they're not repaired. If you guys need to prepare your taxes, then that's going to be a great episode for you all. I'll see you all there.